4 a.m. may be a crazy time to come on YouTube to talk about authenticity, but honestly, that's just how my brain works. I can't explain it. I don't know. But recently, y'all, I've been in this season of transition where I have given up so many things that were inauthentic to who I truly am and have been searching to try to find the things that are truly authentic to me, the things that I'm passionate about, the things that I love, the things that I will find true fulfillment from because I'm tired of just going with you know what I'm saying? What everybody else does in my generation, whether that's like social media, whether that's drinking, smoking, partying, like always being outside, um, trying to impress others. I want to impress God and I want to live a life that is joyful to me to where I will not look back when I'm like 80 years old and be like, wow, like I wish I would have made this choice or wow, I wish I wouldn't have done this thing or like, wow, why did I work this job? Why am I posting on social media still at the age of 80? Because my generation grew up to where social media basically ruled our lives and we never escaped it. And you may be thinking, Julian, that is a little dramatic. And it may be, it may be, but hear me out, hear me out. Y'all, like recently, like one thing that I did to just embrace my authenticity more was deleted social media. And when I tell y'all, it truly changed my life because I don't know if y'all like this. Some people, you know what I'm saying, can have social media and not fall into these certain behaviors or these certain like, you know what I'm saying, pressure. Like they, they, like they, they won't fall victim to these certain pressures, but you know what I'm saying, I'll be honest, I did. And so like, it's like when I would go anywhere, it's like I would have to take the best quality pictures. I would have like 200 pictures from one single position and, and, and I would literally go through these for hours trying to find the perfect picture to post on Instagram. Instagram, thinking of the perfect caption, texting people to figure out what caption to post, um, trying to figure out what time to post it. If I posted it and it didn't get enough likes when I first posted it, I would delete it and be like, oops, my picture got deleted and repost it when I knew more people were active on Instagram so that I could have that like count, so that I could have that external validation, which was inauthentic, which was basically helping me to be inauthentic. It's crazy, but I feel like somebody watching this video will resonate with that. But also, like, I found myself in a season where I don't really enjoy going out anymore. And honestly, I'm not sure if I ever really enjoyed going out, out, like, out, like, nightlife that much. Or if I was doing it because uh, that's what other people expected of me. That's what other people did. So I kind of just went with the flow. I've always been like a go with the flow type of person. And I think that that has allowed my authenticity to be like separated from me because I would just go with what everybody else wanted to do instead of doing what I wanted to do instead of seeking out my own activities. Instead of like telling my friend group, hey, like, let's do this planning activities myself. I would always just go with what everybody else wanted to do because I wanted everybody to be happy. And I would just, you know what I'm saying? I'm not really a planning type of person but i allowed that to draw me away from my, my authenticity and y'all even with youtube like this is my second youtube channel and honestly like i'm coming back from a very long break because like number one the pressures of life in school medical school it really just took me away from it but also i felt myself becoming pressured again to be so perfect on youtube when in fact i want people to subscribe to my page and to like my videos and to comment and to build a community around my page based on who i truly am and so if i'm trying to be perfect if i'm trying to compare myself to these other youtubers if i'm comparing my myself to youtubers who have been in the game for like 10 plus years then that's not me being authentic to myself and that basically makes the process feel like a chore instead of like something that i'm passionate about instead of something that you know what I'm saying? when i pick up the camera i'm happy like this morning it's four in the morning but i'm happy like i feel like i just feel the presence of god you know what i'm saying like here like because he is the source of all true joy and i feel joy in this moment from recording this video and just talking about being authentic and drawing back to my authenticity, who I truly am, who God made me to be. And so I want to encourage you all to stop going with the status quo. Stop always doing things that other people expect of you. Stop always, 
You know what I'm saying? Just going with the flow, moving with the world, moving based on other people's plans and other people's passions. Discover what you, what truly makes you happy and never lose your authenticity in, in any single thing that you do, whether it's work. Be yourself. I know when we, like even when we interview, like it even starts at interviews, y'all. We put on this persona and you know what I'm saying? Like I, I will be honest, like I am like pretty authentic in my interviews, but there is still a level of a persona that I put on in order to make it to the next step and get the job and then you have to uphold that and so you lose your authenticity in the entire process and it's like hard to bring it back when you've already you know what i'm saying showcase this one person because then it's like okay who are you truly who, who are you really and so like i want to encourage everybody to truly be authentic in, in every single thing that you do like start off from the beginning because whatever god has for you you know what i'm saying like he, he wants you to be your true self. He wants you to be who he made you to be. And so he's not going to allow your true self to bring you into opportunities that aren't for you or keep you away from opportunities that are for you. And so I just want to, in the, in, in the for the rest of 2024, to celebrate my authenticity. You know what I'm saying? My page will be centered around me finding who I truly am and, <clears throat> you know what I'm saying, discovering more passions, exploring those passions and not being so based solely on medical school because my life has been so centered around my education around my profession around my aspirations in terms of you know what i'm saying like medical school but what about everything else and even when it came to youtube another thing that i would say took away my authenticity was focusing on like like counts subscriber counts and all of that you know that is important to somebody like me who wants to become a big huge content creator who will become a big huge content creator but the thing is i want to become that big huge content creator being who i truly am not putting on a persona that i have to like stress about maintaining and you know what i'm saying always plan for always have a script for i want to be authentic i want the words to roll out based on who i truly am and so at the end of the day I, my hope is that this page will allow people to see who i truly am and also something that i can look back for and like in, in, in years to come and be like wow like you really have changed and i'll know that i've changed because I was being who I truly am on camera. I wanted to like close off by saying and like really encouraging y'all to never allow anything, anybody, any space, any opportunity to pull you away from who you truly are because you will shine the brightest when you are being yourself. I don't care how other people act in that environment. I don't care what other people do in that environment. I don't care, you know what I'm saying, what it truly takes to become uh, prosperous and successful in that environment according to, you know what I'm saying, other people's standards. You have to make your mark in every single space that you enter based on who you truly are. And then that will open more and more and more and more doors for you and others who are truly being themselves because people will not be afraid to be different and just be themselves. It's not even really being different. It's literally just being yourself. It's, 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 it's more of like not being the same. Um, but yeah, that was my message for today, y'all. And I hope that some part of this video spoke to you. But y'all, that is all for today's 4 a.m. thoughts. Being authentic in everything that you do. And um, I hope that, you know what I'm saying, this video benefited y'all in some way. Um, I hope that you all are interested in seeing the rest of my journey to just like self-discovery. Self um, I named my page Discovering Julian. It was previously named Julian to the MD, but I'm focusing more on like my entire life as opposed to just medical school because I'm so much more than that. And so um, I hope that you all are interested in seeing my journey. If you are, then please leave a like on this video and please subscribe down below uh, to catch my new videos. But I'm also working on like editing my videos more because I feel like in the past I really haven't. So I hope that my editing is not um, disgusting. I hope that my editing does not disgust y'all and make y'all wanna throw up. I hope that it actually pleases you and brings you comfort in some form of fashion. But, uh, yeah, that's it for today's video, y'all. I hope that y'all enjoyed it. Um, but make sure you subscribe so that you can catch me in my next video, which will be posted next week because I'm holding myself accountable this time. I'm, I will not take months, five, six, seven months off YouTube ever again. All right, bye, y'all. Have a great day.